Hello. Welcome to Biscuit Lips. Hmm. Welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep, the 200th edition. Yay! So I asked on I think it was episode 197 would you what would you like me to do to kind of celebrate the 200th and I was told that a live broadcast would be groovy so here I am <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and I'm coughing which is great. So, I'm doing a live broadcast. Yeah. Well, I better cover up the telly, because, you know, I'm not allowed to film the television. So, one person, hello, one person joined. So this won't really be a proper let me bore you to sleep recording. In fact, I'm gonna turn the television off. Uh, oh, as soon as I said that, the person that joins left. It's more, I guess, maybe a QA. and a a quote and a session, or just uh, say hi tell me you know whatever you want really but there needs to be someone here in order for it to work otherwise I'm just sitting here staring at myself so I don't know actually who's watching Normally, when I'm doing this, a, th a thing comes up and says, um, Bob is watching, and Harry, and you know, whoever, Rihanna. But nothing, nothing's coming up saying anything. So I suppose I could invite some people. Uh, Suppose I'll invite a few people. Maybe somebody will join me. You never know, dear. It's possible. It is possible. So I don't know. Who should I? I don't want to just send random invites to everyone but because I imagine it's probably a bit annoying but why can't I just send it to everybody invite all so that would be good wouldn't it why can't I just like invite everybody but it don't allow it okay so anyway so if you are online right now listening to me or watching me please say hi say hello I would bring Andre on the screen but uh, unfortunately he's busy in the bedroom being romantic with his little girlfriend my head's very shiny isn't it it's not that shiny normally as if i put a hat on that's better right? yeah Perhaps, perhaps, 
perhaps, perhaps, if I do, can I do like some funny faces? If I put a, yeah, oh, that's a weird one. There's one, it's just, just like, oh. Oh, look, now that's groovy. I think I'm going to leave it like this. So I um, kind of look, I look quite pretty. Hello. Hello. Mm. Yes. Mm. Really? Tell me more about your exciting life as a plumber. Mm. Sounded a bit like Miss Piggy, didn't it? Hmm, Kermy. Oh, I love you, Kermy. My lovely Kermy. Oh, Miss Piggy. No, oh, that's not very good, isn't it? Well, Miss... What is it? How did Miss Piggy... How did Kermit go? My name is Kermit. Hello. Hi, hi Susan. Susan is what? Chin. Hi. There's nobody, it looks like there's nobody there at all. But Susan's watching. And that's kind of all that matters. Hi Susan. Um, I'll download the video, I'll stick it on my podcast like normal, and probably share it on YouTube. <sighs> oh. There was a time, not that long ago, when all I ever did was make videos. Now, it, it just feels weird a little bit making videos. Which is a bit, a bit strange because the technology has improved somewhat since 2006. I'm gonna see if I can grab him. Hold there, two seconds. I'll take the microphone off. Hey, it's Andre. Hmm. Andre is going to the doctors tomorrow, aren't you? He's going to the doctors. He's going to have a checkup. You can have a check, check. You can have a check, check. So basically, he's uh, yeah, he's just having a little checkup. I need to get him some medication, and he's going to have a checkup at the vets. But I would say you're very healthy, aren't you? very healthy gets lots of exercise gets to go out for walks at least twice a day usually <laughs> oh little boy you mean a daddy you daddy's boy aren't you you're a little baby he is a little baby. I'll put him a little bit closer to the camera so you can see him. Hello. Hello. Say hello, Susan. I'm trying to find your face so they can put a, make a funny thing on it. He's too wiggly. If he kept his head still, uh, he'd probably have some flowers on his head. Oh, it did, just for a second there. Did you see that? If you're listening to this on a podcast, have a, have a watch of the video, because he kept still long enough for flowers to be on his head. Eee. Oh, it didn't work, did it? 
He's too wiggly. Mm. Oh, he wants to get back. He wants to get down. Say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Find a face. Look, look. Andre, look. <laughs> he won't do it. All right. Put me a microphone back. So Susan, I was looking online for that microphone that you wanted uh, for your iPhone. There's a microphone that you can put on. I think it's a Rode, I think. And it clicks in to the top of your, to the top of your iPhone. And I said a condenser or something, so you can get that. But, and you can get headphones that are wireless, that are, uh, sound reducing and noise reducing but I couldn't see anything where you could get both at the same time something that did both I did have a look but I couldn't see anything that did both those things and also for singing also for singing um, it didn't seem uh, I don't know how good the microphones are for the iPhone. Um, based on the price, they should be quite good. But then, some microphones, I mean, the microphone I've got here, this is the second lapel microphone that I've had. And the first one, It was okay, but I don't think it fitted into the iPhone. I can't remember. But I went online and I researched and the amount of lapel microphones that I came across and then I looked in the descriptions and the reviews and people were saying oh, it's rubbish, it's rubbish and it's a good microphone but it doesn't work. Uh, it works fine if, if you're making a video, but if you go live, then it doesn't work properly, doesn't connect properly, doesn't sound right. So I wanted to get a lapel microphone that worked well with live streaming. Because at one point, I was gonna be doing a lot of live streaming. In fact, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, possibly the year before, I did do a fair bit of live streaming during the summer but it's kind of weird because I got a oh I should say I only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes if you're yeah and what's that that just came on the screen and the I got a message on YouTube from, I had a few messages this week actually. Um, one person was saying they've been following me since the early days of YouTube, since, because I started making videos, hypnosis videos on YouTube, basically as soon as YouTube started. Because before YouTube, I used to have my videos on MySpace. And, uh, then Facebook came along and YouTube and they kind of took over. And videos were the, the, the main thing that I did. I did podcasts, which were basically most of the time just the audio stripped out of the video. Stripped. So it's, it's basically all it was, it's just the uh, quite a lot of the videos, just the video and the audio is taken out. But it's now the reverse. So now I've made videos in more recent years where it's been the audio first and then a video built around the audio. And I went through, I've gone through lots of different, um, hear them in the background. Even when I do a video, he has to start 
He was so quiet until I started doing this. And it doesn't look like there's anybody watching at all. Ah. So if Susan's still watching, that's it. There's, I suppose I don't give enough notice really. If I'd have said three days ago, on Monday evening, 11 p.m. You care time. I was going to make a video. Uh, uh, a let me bore you to sleep. 200th anniversary. 200th anniversary. It's not really the right term, is it? But 200th edition. And I probably would have had a few people watching, but I didn't give a lot of notice. And I was late coming as well. So I was not by much, about five minutes. Andre, what are you doing? He wants to fight. He wants me to play with him. He basically, he's just jumped up and like nibbled me a little bit and then he's, then he's run away. Andre, I can't when I'm making a video. I'm working. <laughs> working. So, hopefully you can hear me. I don't even know if it, I, can you hear me okay? Can you imagine if I was making a video and I was just, all you could see was, and it looked like I was saying something really interesting, but, but you couldn't actually hear the words. But actually, I wasn't saying anything interesting. And this will be really boring if no one actually comes online and talks to me. Somebody, talk to me baby, somebody. Otherwise this would be the worst 200th episode of anything ever. What was I gonna say? Oh. I got him back. So he wants to play, so I might as well play with him. I'm gonna play with you. Mm. It's weird, I know that some people might think, how can you love you know, first of all, it's like, so you got a ferret. Oh, that's like a rat. How can you love a rat? Look at this little face. Tell me that's not the cutest little face in the world. Look. Now that's a cute little face, isn't it? That ain't no like ordinary. I bet if you thought of a ferret, you wouldn't think of him. Well, you would now if you're not really, because you've seen him, but. It's more like a little bear. Look at that colouring. Look at how beautiful, how cute he is. <laughs> Look how wiggly he is. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Bernie. Andre says hi. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this because I can't see the, oh, what's that? Um, it's me. It's a bald head. It's my bald head with a little baby, with my little baby boy, with my little baby boy. Little baby boy. Mm -hmm. 
Andre the Ferret, his name is, aren't you? Andre the Ferret, Andre the Ferret. His name is Andre Dooley Newland. Ooh, he is cute, yes. Oops, he also wants to get off and do something else. So, what am I going to do? So I might as well just forget the fact that there's hardly anyone watching and just do the... I know that lots of people will listen to it once it's on the podcast. So, what I'm planning... I don't know what I'm planning to do, but I'd like to... I've done 200 recordings of this Let Me Bore You To Sleep, which is the most I've ever done of anything, you know, like as far as episodes or whatever you want to call it. So 200, that's a lot. I'm now up to about 130 or 131 on the deep sleep whisper hypnosis ones. And that podcast is more popular than this, but it's, maybe it's because it's whisper, maybe it's the ASMR kind of aspect of it. Um, or maybe they're just better. Maybe it's just a better podcast. It's uh, There's less of me just messing around and playing about. Well, there's no playing about, really. It's, it's not that I'm serious when I do it, but it is, I suppose I am, you know, serious sir. And uh, my other podcast that's really growing is the hypnosis, was it relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. And I think why that's um, grown and continues to grow is uh, Bernie says bye bye. Thank you for um, being part of this historic moment. I think part of the reason is because my I put quite a lot of myself into that podcast as I do with this as well but that's different in the sense of I talk about the anxiety and stress and the panic that I had and um, I don't really I kind of keep things light in this podcast in the let me bore you to sleep it really is just a bit of uh, kind of light entertainment, boring slash boring sleepy stuff. And I know some people listen to it because it's really boring and it sends you to sleep. Some people listen to it because it's like a little bit of company, it's a friendly voice. Um, and I do, I do understand that because I listen to a radio show for that, probably for that same reason, because there's this person called Steve Allen and he's on LBC. He's not the only radio presenter that I like. And I do seem to listen to more radio than I do watch television these days. Um, part of that is because when I'm awake, at night and I'm making recordings I don't make recordings back to back I don't just like spend an hour making a recording and then spend another hour because that you know I can't I don't work that way I need to have a break sometimes for a couple of hours in order to get into a until I'm ready to do another one really and I generally try to do about three recordings a day or three recordings during the night, which is a nice number because that adds up to a thousand a year. And, you know, I've done more, I've recorded more sessions this year, 2019 so far, and it's still only August, than any other year ever. As far as I remember, 
Yeah, I don't think any years matched this. I did lots last year as well. And there was a point behind what I was saying. I can't remember what it is. Uh, what was the point? There was a point. Yeah, I listened to the radio because there, there literally isn't really a lot on television. There's some cop shows and some, uh, basically on, after about one o'clock in the morning, midnight, two o'clock, you know, after that kind of time, it's either these uh, like gambling TV shows like Gala Bingo and uh, Roulette Wheel stuff. Not that exciting to watch. Or there's the shopping channels, the QVC and the various other versions of that. Sometimes I'll have a little look because it's really weird even when I watch something there was one on the other day it was uh, this silicone you hear Andre now he's doing it it's just because he knows I'm he's just so naughty so naughty yeah, I, this is like a silicon thing that you put on a chair and you sit on it and it supports your bum. He did this the other day. The other night I was making a recording, just, you know, just audio. And I ended up stopping after half an hour. Because I'd just given him a bath and he was acting up really a lot, but really acting up. He was trashing the place, running around, pushing the stuff over, scratching at the carpet. Uh, he got to the, the mop bucket, started pushing that around the bathroom. Um, it's like anything he could get, he went to the kitchen, started banging the cupboards. All the stuff that he doesn't normally do, and if he does do it, he might do it just that one thing, maybe once a day or every couple of days, but he decided to put it all together. It was like he'd composed a song. You know when you can compose songs online on the, or you know, on the software and you've got one instrument at a time, he pulled the whole orchestra out, got it all playing all together. And, uh, in the end, I just stopped making a recording. So, no, no more, no, no, no. <laughs> and now he's gone into his little, uh, he's got this cat box, which he sleeps in sometimes. And he's now, I don't know what he's doing. He makes me laugh sometimes, some of the things that he does. He's, uh, he brightens my life up, he really does. And I know it's probably, I know that I, I know 100% that it's weird for some people to think, you know, what, living with a ferret and treating him like he's my boy, my son. But I do live with a ferret and he is my son. So, hey, there you go. The thing is, no matter what happens, I know that he's never gonna, never gonna tell me he hates me He's never gonna, never asks to borrow money. He never, you know what I mean, never goes out late at night and doesn't come back, never leaves the front door open. He's never gonna crash me car. You know, never gonna bring bring a boyfriend back that I don't like, although, well, I suppose, yeah, he's never, you know, I don't have to worry about any of those things. Don't have, don't have to pay for him to go to college. And, uh, and when he's dead, I don't even have to bury him. I can just chuck him in the bin. So it's... <laughs> he 
it's um that's terrible um so yeah I'd, it brightens my life up and I always thought it was a weird thing, you know, I was just, oh, what a strange thing. But looking inside from outside, it probably looks weird. But so James M. Prozek. Hi, James. James has been watching or been watching my stuff for years, I think. Um, yeah, so I had a few messages on YouTube, like posted on the videos, and I've got the YouTube channel is very quiet, my YouTube channel, because first of all, YouTube do not promote my videos. <laughs> they just don't anymore. It's, I, I've got even got a verified thing on there, because I've got over 500 videos. And it, you, know, you can put hypnosis, sleep hypnosis, anything into YouTube, uh, unless you actually put my name in, you, you won't come up with anything my videos don't come up. Um, they used to when I had other channels, but for some reason I'm just hidden, which is all right, it's, it's okay. The podcasts are doing what needs to be done, so I'm reaching an audience that way. But YouTube, it used to be, I used to be doing quite well on there at one point, for quite a few years actually. You know, I never like, had millions of views, but my most popular channel had half a million views. But you know, it's then you look at some of these videos, uh, you know, the, like the popular, popular YouTube videos, and they'll get half a million views in the first 10 minutes. It's like, oh, it took me two years to get that, but that's all right. I think because I, I I do my podcast on Spreaker and then the podcasts go out to all the different podcast hosts a lot on the internet. So I'm very easily found online for the podcasts. And then I share it I share it on you know, every time I make a, a podcast, I share it on Facebook, Twitter, and I share it on YouTube. And YouTube converts it into a video. Basically, it's just a picture of the podcast and the audio. And I get people listening, but it's minimal. It's really minimal. Um, but when I do a Jason Chats video, which is just one of my blogs, then I do get some views because it's a moving image. Um, so my only way back, really on YouTube was to be making videos, like regular videos, to kind of basically do each podcast, but actually make a video, and a podcast, like the same thing, which I could do, um, but I don't know. The thing is, like earlier, at the beginning of this, I coughed. Now, if I'm making a podcast, I can pause and do a big cough, or a small cough, depends you know, what, what's required. And then I can continue recording. Can't do that on a video. Well, I can't do that on a live broadcast. I suppose I can do it. I can do it by editing the video. Yeah, so of course it is, it's, it's very possible and I've got all the editing software pretty much that I need I just uh, I don't know I think it's the aging process as well because when I started this it was in black and white you know it was about 150 years ago and my first videos were in black and white I had hair I don't think I still got hair I just shave it but I don't think I even had any grey hairs back then I definitely didn't have grey hairs on the beard. And, you know, this is 2006, so I was 35. I'm 49 in six days' time. 
so you know time's gone by and I I don't know I don't feel I'm quite as uh, juicy and sexy as perhaps I once was maybe I don't know so yeah I just because on YouTube I've been very lucky really I haven't had a lot of uh, nastiness directed towards me on YouTube I have had some but not huge amounts and um, but even just when it's a comment about how you look it's not I don't I can't imagine anybody you know enjoys it unless it's a complimentary one and um, you know so oh, you look like John Luc Picard from Star Trek uh, ah, fair enough he's a groovy fellow but yeah I don't um, I don't know if I really want to make videos anymore. The streaming, making a doing a stream in the 200th anniversary. Maybe I'll do a stream for the 500th anniversary, maybe the 500th episode, but I don't know, because there's not many people watching. There's, if it's, if it's live, there's more chance of, well, who knows what's gonna happen, you know, the, so I might knock at the door, there might be sort of, I mean last night we had a, someone had a fire in their garden at three o'clock in the morning. You know, who knows what's gonna happen. Um, and because it's still early, it's you know, what, 20 past 11 or something like that. Um, I don't know what the time is. Alexa, what's the time? The time is 11.42 p.m. So it's 11.42 p.m. And, you know, I was watching, I got this Alexa. And I think it was like special offer, so I thought, yeah. Because you can play music through it. And I don't have any, like, stereo system or anything. And so I thought it'd be nice to have something that I could listen to and it's supposed to be quite good quality sound. Well, I was watching a TV program. I think it, I think it was on YouTube, and it was uh, some music program. But it was sp it was sponsored by Alexa. And honestly, I think every. I reckon every 10 seconds, the presenters were saying the word Alexa. And then whatever they said next, my Alexa started up, started talking. And uh, in the end, I had to just stop watching it. Oh, it is one I did the other day. Alexa, do you love me? There are people I admire, and things I can't do without, but I'm still trying to figure out human love. Alexa, do you want to go out on a date? I like you, as a friend. Rejected by a machine. Ah, oh dear. So, I don't know what the next year is going to entail regarding the podcasts. I don't know. Uh, I got a book on knots the other day. Even before I start saying, talking about this, it's boring. The story is boring. You can't, you can't start a sentence with, I got a book about knots without it being a boring story. Even if it's an interesting subject to you, it's just, you know, I remember years ago, it was Christmas and somebody 
handed me a book and said, look, it's a book about tractors. I just wasn't sure how to react. And I know that tractors are brilliant for people that like tractors. I, I don't know much about tractors. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of one of those things. It's a bit like when, you know, someone's been on holiday and they sort of say, oh, look, here's pictures from my holiday. And you've got to pretend to look at them. And the best thing is when, if they actually hold it for you, so you, you know, and then that's a bit awkward, but if they hand you the phone, you can just like pretend to look and like swipe it, say, oh, that's good, that's good. And it's like, oh, I'll delete that one. <laughs> and just, and it's, and that's like their honeymoon or something. So it's sort of really, really important to them, but incredibly boring <laughs> for everyone else in the world. It's, look, there's a tree that was out the ho outside the hotel and that's the waiter his name was Bobby very friendly he had a moustache well yeah I can see I can see the picture I can see that he has a moustache are you going to tell me what colour hair he had I can see what colour hair he had there's no need to be rude. I wasn't being rude, I'm just saying. I can see it visually. My eyes work. And I'm like, okay. And I just don't, just pictures. I don't collect pictures. I just don't. I don't have any. I've got one picture of me and my nan from probably about 2004. And it's in a little frame and it's in the frame that I bought her for her birthday so I kind of inherited that picture and the picture frame and it's quite nice isn't it that she had the frame and she put a picture of me and her team in it and um, I do have one picture frame with some pictures that my dad put together when I first moved in here and it's like a family and my nan and granddad's 50th birthday um, no, anniversary rather um, a few pictures of like grandparents both sides of the family and there's a it's a couple of pictures few pictures with me but all of them i'm clean shaven now anybody that's known me for a long time knows that I don't generally, I'm not, I'm very rarely clean shaven. I go that way sometimes. Um, in fact, I would say I'm bald more often than I've been clean shaven in my life, like for periods of time. And I'm, I'm not bald that often. You know, I, I shave my head sometimes twice a year sometimes once a year sometimes not at all but you know it just seems to happen it doesn't just, just, just happen but you know I'm kind of responsible for that particular, a particular action but I rarely have been clean shaven because it doesn't really suit me. And you'd be saying, yeah, but you're bald. You know, once you're bald, what does it matter? But I'm not bald, I shave my head. And I'm receding a little bit there and there. It goes further back on that side, it goes to there. That's the recedation bit. There is a little bit closer. And at the front, there's these little islands of hair 
this you know you need a little you need to get a little ferry across between each each hair so it's a little bit thin at the front it's thin at the back a little bit but the rest of it is well it's, it's there's there isn't anything but when it is grown i've got quite thick curly hair and it isn't that gray actually there's little bits of gray well there's there's clumps of gray like at the front i think a bit at the sides but it's really dark I've got quite dark hair but with the beard and moustache well it's just a beard isn't it it's not a beard and a moustache you can have a moustache or you can have a beard kind of both can you because a moustache is a beard isn't it once the beard's there I don't know what the I suppose basically as soon as you grow something on your chin if you've got a moustache then that becomes a beard and I used to have a goatee beard is it goatee goatee you know so I used to shave so maybe that that would you could say that's clean shaven, but it isn't if you've got a beard, is it? I used to have like just my mouth, like a little, like a little hairy bum, kind of just, just there. But I think I look better with a beard than without. Possibly look better with hair or without hair, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting the that you know when you shave your head or you shave your beard off, and someone says, "Oh, I preferred you with the beard. I preferred you with the hair." Well, if you liked me when I had hair or when I had a beard, why didn't you tell me then? You know, a few compliments now and then, and I probably wouldn't have shaved it off. And they said, yeah, but I haven't seen you for ages. It's not the point. So everyone's got an opinion. So there you go. That's uh, what can I do for future Let Me Boy to Sleep recordings? What could I do? Do be, do, do, boo, boo. I don't know because I'm never doing a love and live stream because no one's watching. Absolutely pointless. Mind you, I have done live streams in the past where I've had quite a few people join and say hello and all that stuff. So I guess I didn't give enough notice. And I think in this situation, it's too early for America And it's too late for England because anyone that's going to work in the morning are probably in bed right now. There's the other side where people, I think with podcasts, you don't want to be restricted by having to listen at a particular time I think that's what's happened with the streaming services like video you know TV streaming Netflix uh, and you know the podcasts and things like that is unlike television traditional television and radio where there would be a time slot where the program would be and you, you know, if you wanted to listen or watch that program, you'd need to be there at that particular time. But now, you don't have to be. You know, you can watch pretty much every television program after it's been on. And you can listen back to most radio shows. So maybe that's doing a, a live stream wasn't really not really necessary 
because I could do a live podcast. I've got the facility to do that. I could, I could go live every day at midnight. You know, if, if I was able to do that, if I wanted to, and do an hour of me doing the let me bore you to sleep. But I'm not always in the mood to do things at a specific time. You know, it's nice for me to have the flexibility to be able to, well, for one thing, if, I, if I'm not up to doing it, to not make a recording, sometimes for a week, you know, it depends. I'm usually pretty good though, I make them fairly regularly. And when I'm in the flow, I quite like to make them every day. However, Sometimes I don't, I don't want to make a recording until five in the morning. Or sometimes I go to make a recording at nine in the evening and I'm thinking, yeah, it's quiet, I'll do one now. And then it stops being quiet outside and I have to abandon. And, and that's what happened the other day. I started making a recording and there was like loads of banging outside. And it did actually sound like one of the neighbors was having an argument with a robot. It was like, what the heck? So that's probably the future to come, isn't it? So you can imagine that. Imagine men start dating androids and that noise that'll make when they argue so yeah I just uh, I'm not sure what I like the idea of having a radio show um, which would be a lot more different to this I, I'd like I kind of like the idea of having a radio show where people phone in and then I've got that interaction going on. I quite like the idea of having a radio show where I'm playing music, possibly, but I definitely think it would be good to have that, perhaps have that interaction, or at least have another person to talk to, even if they're not heard. And but voice only. I wouldn't want to be on video. I'd like to do it just a voice. So it's radio, not television, or not a video rather. And then I can be on the internet and I can do a little bit of research and look up stuff that I'm thinking about. Yeah, could do that. I did kind of attempt to do it a couple of times and I think I was talking for about two and a half hours once and it ruined me, <laughs> it really did. It was too long, too long. So I think an hour is a nice amount of time to just be talking. I mean, I'm tired now. I really, I kind of bore myself to uh, like wanting to just go to sleep, really. Get out to sleep, in it. So, yeah. So, the, the thing, I keep saying a word, so, the thing is, that's one of the benefits of making these recordings is, if, if someone says, oh, that was so rubbish, that was so boring, yee, it's a win. Oh, that was brilliant, that was so entertaining. Yee, it's a win. So, kind of, it's kind of a win-win situation, most of the time. So, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have some food. 
can really do with a sausage roll right now. But I don't have a sausage roll right now to eat right now. So I'm gonna have to uh, make do with not eating a sausage roll right now. So maybe I'll have something else to eat right now. And now the end is near, and so I face something, something in me. This thing is clear. I like raspberry jam and other things too. La la, this that I do. Every beach, in every highway, but more, much more than this, I did it, my It's now or never, come hold me tight. Right, I'm gonna stop. Quite weird looking at myself. Mm, it's weird. Yeah, I definitely prefer just audio recordings. I don't like, don't like video no more. I don't like it, no, I don't. Don't like it at all. So I'm gonna go and hope for, for, for fully I can upload this or download this and then extract the audio but because it would be a shame if I can't as it's the 200th edition uh, and then I'll put it onto the podcast so take care of yourselves I want to bring this to an end. I don't know how I can stop it. So who's watching? So I've had about five people watch. One, two people have said hello. And that's it. So it's a bit, a bit pointless really, but never mind. I will make a lovely juicy let me boy to sleep probably tomorrow it will be audio only no visuals no sexiness just plain old-fashioned audiology so take care of yourselves and i'll see you very very soon or rather i will be heard by you very very soon and take care and remember to be kind to yourself see you all right huh?